Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Access, you can use the Chart Wizard to quickly and easily create charts that represent data drawn from your underlying queries or tables. There are many different types of charts that are available by default. Charts are inserted as another control into the reports in your database. You can insert a chart into a report by first clicking the blank report button that appears in the reports group on the Create tab in the ribbon. Now unlike other report controls, the chart that is inserted into a report will use its own data source for its information display. Therefore, you can simply insert it into a blank, unassociated report if desired. Next, click the Insert Chart button that appears in the Controls group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon when your report is displayed in Design View. You can then click and drag over the area within the report where you wish to display the chart in order to create a frame for the embedded chart control. Now when you release your mouse pointer, the chart wizard will then launch, assuming that you have used the control wizards selected in the controls group on the design tab of the report design tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Note that in Access 2010, this button appears in a separate section when you click the More drop-down button that appears in the lower right corner of the control group. So as long as that's activated, then when you click the Chart button that appears in the Controls group, it'll launch the Chart Wizard to assist you in the process of creating your chart. Now in the first screen of the chart wizard, you select the data source for the chart. You can select either the tables or queries or both option button to then display those selected types of objects in the large list. Then select the name of the table or query that you want to use as the data source for the chart from the listing of tables and or queries shown. Then click the next button to continue. Now in the next screen, choose the fields to display within the chart by selecting them from the available fields list box and clicking the single right pointing arrow button to move them into the fields for chart list. Then click the next button to continue when you're finished. Now in the next screen, you simply select the type of chart that you would like to create from the listing of charts shown. Once you have made your selection, click the next button to continue. Now in the next screen, you drag and drop any fields from the area at the right side of the window into the desired chart location shown at the left side of the window. Note that you can double click on any summary field shown in order to change the function performed on that data in a separate dialog box if needed. You can also click the preview chart button to show a preview of your chart in a separate window. When you're satisfied with the appearance of your chart, click the next button to continue. Now in the last screen of the chart wizard, you can type a title for your chart into the box provided, and then select whether or not you would like to add a legend to the chart. Then click the finish button to add the chart control to your report. Now don't be alarmed if the chart doesn't display your data in the design view. It won't. 
you'll need to switch to Layout View in order to see the data in your chart object and also have the ability to resize the chart control until it appears the way that you would like it to within your report. Now charts are independent objects. They contain many smaller objects that have their own properties which can be independently formatted to suit your taste. When you're in Design View, you can select the chart object and then view its properties in the property sheet. The row source property, which is located on the data tab, displays the SQL code of the query upon which the chart is based. So if you click into the Row Source Property box, you can then click the Expression Builder button that appears at the right end to view the SQL query in the Visual Query Design window, which you can then edit if needed. Now to edit the chart and design view, you can simply double click on the chart that will activate the Microsoft Graph program. Note that the toolbars change to reflect this fact. The new toolbar which appears allows you to edit the chart object's formatting. So you can select any object in the chart and click the available buttons in the new toolbar to format it to your taste. Note that the data that's displayed in the data sheet when you edit the chart simply displays your most recent data. You do not need to change the data sheet info. Now when you've made any formatting changes that you wish to keep, click once more back into the report into which the chart is embedded to switch back to access. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.